Hi, today I'm going to talk about the one of the requirement in IATF 6949 uh, year 2016. This is about the production scattering. Okay, if you look up at the requirement itself, it would be 8.5.1.7 production scattering. Okay, there is two main sentences uh, within this requirement. Okay, we will take a look on the requirement itself first before I can elaborate more on the um, the table of the figure how to calculate the order information. Okay, the requirement stated that um, you shall ensure production is scheduled in order to meet customer order or demand, such as just in time or JIT, and is supported by information system that permit access to production information at key stages of the process and it, and is order driven. Okay, the main keyword, two main keyword here in the first sentence is just in time and the other keyword is order driven. Okay, the last sentence would be organization shall include relevant plan information during production scheduling. Okay, handling of customer order, supplier on time delivery performance, capacity, share loading, and lead time, and you have to manage about inventory level, and you, ne you need to know about the preventive maintenance scheduling as well, and together with the collaboration. Okay, this is the, our supporting information that required for uh, effective production scheduling. Okay, so the, the below table that I will show it to you, it would be uh, explaining about the concept, the basic concept of just in time delivery in practical way of doing business. Okay, before we go to the um, delivery policy, okay, you can see the title of the table here. We need to keep the assumption, assumption of the for cat volume or order per year of one particular part number that requested by one particular customer. Let's uh, give the assumption to be 12,000 pieces per year. Okay. And you can see the table below here. Okay. The first scenario would be um, delivery policy number one. Okay, and you agree with your customer to deliver the product on 20, 25th of each month. Once a month, simply said. And from the agree for cash volume, it would be just only 1,000 pieces per shipment. Because on 25th of each month, okay, 25th of January, okay, you deliver them 1,000 pieces. 25th of February, 25th of March, April, May, June, July. Every single month, you deliver thousand pieces and the next column this is to give you an idea about the inventory level in pieces as well so what does it mean exactly it seems to be the same figure here as the pieces per shipment pieces per shipment here but uh, there's some hidden meaning behind that inventory level uh, you can you can count it as pieces or you can count it as square meter whatever figure you're comfortable with. Okay, the real meaning of this is mean that on 24th of each month, okay, one month before the shipment date, you need to prepare 100 pieces of your product ready to be delivered on tomorrow morning. And at the same time, on 25th or even 24th of each month, the customer side need to prepare or to provide the space enough to accommodate thousand pieces that would be delivered from you. Okay, that's why the immediate level, it could be count as the pieces or it could be count as square meter, whatever figure you're comfortable with. Okay, level at the your warehouse side for solid finished good to be ready to be delivered or level of the inventory at your customer incoming store area that they need to provide the chair or the space enough to accommodate thousand pieces to be delivered and the next one this is inventory turn this is time per month this is the same one as the the same figure as the delivery frequency per month as well if you keep tracking by month so once a month once a month delivery policy but if the customer they want to change the policy they give you the policy number two. It means that they want to be delivered 
yeah, once a week. They, they even specify to be on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Okay. Once a week is mean four times a month approximately. Okay. Some month maybe five weeks a month, but okay, I just round it up to be four times a month, four weeks a month, something like that. And um, the quantity would be shrinked down to be just this 250. And label, shrink it down also the same figure 250. And turn, it would be four times a month. And then the customer may keep ordering in delivery policy number two for maybe a couple of months before they change their mind. They want to be even more shrinking. Okay. They apply delivery policy number three. It means that not only once a week, but two times a week, twice a week, every Tuesday and every, every Thursday, on exactly the same time, 2 o'clock p.m. in the afternoon. So, the, the frequency per month it would be egg time, egg time, the deliver quantity. You can calculate it accordingly. And okay, uh, even though the, um, the customer may not happy about the, um, the third policy, they may apply even more demanding policy, policy number five, uh, number four and number five. Number four, they demand you to deliver on daily basis. Number five. Twice a day, you can see that 9 o'clock in the morning and um, 2 p.m. in the afternoon time. And okay, it would affect the frequency per month and affect the pieces per shipment. And okay, we can call it uh, event level as well. So you see that, okay, I just added the arrow down here showing the delivery policy number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the direction that the customer want to be. So the, in the old world, in the old fashion of ordering, they may enjoy just delivery policy number one. But right now, the direction, the tendency, just go to be just in time ordering. So it means that sooner or later, you will facing the ordering information from the customer to be just like delivery policy number four or even number five. Okay, you can see that if we apply number five, okay, the uh, delivery quantity per shipment have been shrinked down to be just very, very small lot, 25 pieces. So it may be very small until that you do think that it's not worth for the shipping cost. Well, in that situation, we can call uh, delivery number five has a chip to customer production line. So it means that um, customer will order you in very small lot or small batch, but um, they have tendency to order more frequent, maybe as much frequent to be twice a day. It's implying that two things here, customer have no space provided for selling of the incoming component or even raw material supplied by you. They have totally zero stock on hand because the, whatever you deliver to them would be direct to the production line or assembly line. And the second point is the, since they have no zero stock or even you can call it safety stock, so there's no room for you for any error. I mean, in terms of product quality, every single piece that you deliver must be in good shape, must be in good quality no defect allowed at all, and um, no order for delivery um, timeliness. I mean, every shipment must be punctual, 100%, cannot be delayed. And also the quantity as well, there's no missing, even one single piece could not be missing. So to, um, to sum up that one, uh, we can call it easily that uh, industry we call OTF, on time in full, OTIF, on time in full quantity. And uh, in such case, the, the supplier may not be able to afford that uh, frequency of delivery as requested by the customer that uh, the customer will provide what they call meal run. The truck from the customer side will come and pick up the, um, the common in part at your warehouse at a free delivery schedule. Okay, we call meal run. The customer will inform you the meal run schedule. 
So summary again, there's something to consider. The, the first thing is firm forecast volume is not enough because you can see from the daily policy number one to number five here, actually, actually if you calculate each of them, it finally gives you the same figure number of forecast. Okay, the same figure number of forecast. Let me go up here again. 12,000 pieces per year equally for every policy. So it means that um, you cannot rely just only on the forecast figure given by the customer, but you need to ask them specifically about the delivery policy that um, they will demand you to deliver the product. Okay. Delivery policy um, is uh, regarding to how often your customer requests for shipment once a month once a week, once a day, or even twice a day, something like that. MOQ per shipment. MOQ, this is the point that you will negotiate with the customer. Um, if it, um, MOQ it go even less than some specific figure, for example, less than 50 pieces per shipment, something like that, it might not be possible for you to deliver by your own. You may request the customer for the meal run pickment. Ah, uh, sorry, pick up. Yeah, yeah, meal run pick up at your facility. And okay, more of delivery. Okay, this is about customer meal run of the via your own truck. And all those things uh, could be included in delivery schedule policy. Some customer may even add it in that uh, supply manual or some customer you, you need to ask the uh, production planning or even purchasing of your customer okay um, that one would be negotiated and created before acceptance of order or even before issuing a quotation to the customer for any new launch of the product you need to be clear on that okay thank you i think it would help you to Broaden your eye about the, the forecasting and uh, delivery policy in terms of automotive industry. And you can subscribe for more updates and joint implementation. Thank you very much. Bye bye.